Chapter 79, The Header The Americas are discovered and conquered in wickedness. The American Revolution was fought under the influence of Satan to reward the rich. The Gentiles shall receive the beginnings of the fullness of the gospel through Joseph Smith. The Gentiles shall be smitten because of their rejection of the gospel and the Book of Mormon. The work of the gathering shall commence with the work of Christopher Namelka and the coming forth of the sealed portion. 1. And it shall come to pass among the nations of this great European empire, which shall be formed from other nations and kingdoms of the earth, that a group of people who shall travel across the great oceans and establish themselves in the land of my fathers, yea, these shall begin to prosper exceedingly in all things. 2. And there shall also be the rich among them who shall become rich from the land, and the things that they shall take from the land of my fathers. 3. For behold, the Lamanites shall be upon the land when it is discovered by these great European nations of the latter days, and at this time they shall be a humble people, having their own tribes and nations upon the land. 4. And though the Spirit of the Lord shall not be with them directly, they shall remember many of the teachings of their fathers, and begin to establish peace amongst themselves according to their traditions and the customs which shall be passed down to them from generation to generation. 5. And it shall come to pass that Lucifer shall influence the discovery of the land of promise, which is filled with all manner of precious things which are the desires of this great and abominable church of which I have spoken. 6. And when the promised land is discovered by the people of the great European empire, they shall begin to search for gold and silver and for anything that is of value to them. 7. And it shall come to pass that they shall begin to destroy the Lamanites and take from their lands and force them into places which are desolate and void of the precious things that these European nations desire. 8. And the Lamanites shall begin to dwindle in numbers, and lose their nations and their lands to the effects of the lust of the great and abominable church. 9. And the men who shall destroy the Lamanites shall think that they are doing God a service, because they believe that the Lamanites and all those who are of a dark skin are those who have been cursed of God, and not worthy of the full blessings of the Father. 10. And this wickedness shall be taught unto them by their leaders and their priests, who are all servants of Satan, and shall follow his will in all things. 11. And thus the eighth beast of which John wrote shall begin to rise up out of obscurity and gain power for itself. 12. And those who shall colonize the land of promise shall begin to have much disputation and contention with the government that controlleth them from across the oceans, which government shall be set up amongst the nations in the great European empire. 13. And the rich men of the colonies who shall rebel against their king shall rise up and conspire against the laws of their government, because they desire to keep more of that which they gain from the service of the poor who shall be among them. 14. And many of these rich men shall unite together and form an alliance, even according to the covenants and bonds of the secret combinations of old. 15. And these rich men shall be desirous to rebel against the laws that shall be established among them, so that they can establish their own laws that will serve them in their desires for more gain. 16. And these men shall be men of great intelligence who have much power in speaking and in writing. 17. And they shall begin to influence the poor among them, who shall be the majority, to join their cause and fight for them against the government to which they belong. 18. But the rich shall not fight, but shall establish a law amongst themselves, that for the payment of money, even three hundred dollars, as the number of the beast shall be called by this great and final beast, they shall be exempt from conscription. 19. And these same men shall be inspired by Lucifer to set up their nation and their laws in such a way that they can maintain control over the minds and hearts of the poor and the majority. 
20. And now ye of the latter days shall also give praise and honor to those whom ye refer to as the fathers of your nation. Yea, truly they are the fathers of your nation, but wherein is their righteousness according to the words of Christ? 21. Behold, as I have told you to not judge unless it is done according to the Spirit in righteousness, ye must know that these men shall be servants of Satan, who shall set up the government of your nation to get gain for themselves. 22. And like those leaders in the kingdoms of Satan before them, they have done all things that they might get gain and protect themselves and their families. 23. Know ye not that many of these founding fathers that ye hold in such high esteem held men of dark skin in servitude? 24. Behold, there is no man that is influenced by the Spirit of Christ who can hold another man in servitude, so that he might get gain. 25. And I have shown unto you that the beginning of the half of time had not yet begun when these men brought forth the nation which would become the eighth beast of which John speaketh. 26. And because the Father had not yet released the Holy Ghost to send his ministrations unto the children of men, then how do ye suppose that it was possible that the fathers of your nation could have been inspired by the Spirit of the Father? 27. Behold, they were indeed inspired, and the God from whom they received their inspiration was Lucifer. For it is a nation of Satan that shall be created. Nevertheless, all these things shall be done by the power and according to the great wisdom of the Father. For it is his desire that Lucifer be allowed to do these things, so that this great nation could be a free nation in the beginning offering unto all the ability to act according to the free agency that the Father hath given unto all of his children, that they might be more fully tried and tested during the final days of their probation. 28. And if ye of the latter days are not deceived by the accounts of the actions of these fathers, which are contained in the histories that ye have accepted among you, then ye will know of their wickedness, and the misery that they have caused many people because of their works. 29. And this I can tell you, that the only interest of any of these men was for their own gain, and the protection of their own families, and their own property, and their own possessions, for they did not care for the poor or the needy among them. Neither did they care about the great suffering of the humble Lamanites who were forced out of their land by them. 30. And now this is the thing for which I must repent, even for the anger that swelleth up in my soul, because of that which shall come to pass to the Lamanites, who are my brothers, and of my own flesh, even the flesh of our father Lehi. 31. For behold, their plight shall be miserable in the last days, and this because of the exceeding wickedness of this great beast of the latter days. 32. And my soul doth cry for them, for even in my own day they are a proud and a noble people. And it is because of the sins of their fathers, and the traditions that have been taught unto them, that have caused them to come up to battle against us, and destroy us. 33. And if the Nephites would have given heed unto the words of Christ, then they would not have been destroyed. 34. But even so, the Lamanites shall be a peaceful people amongst themselves at the day that they are discovered by the European nation of which John hath written. 35. And the vengeance for that which shall be done to my brothers is not mine to give, but shall be given unto the Gentiles, who have destroyed the Lamanites by the hand of the Lord, if it so be that they do not repent and return unto the Lord. 36. For it shall come to pass that just before the beginning of the half of times, the Lord shall call forth the first of these latter-day prophets, to bring the fullness of the gospel to the people of the earth. And this is he who shall be called Joseph, after the name of his father. 37. And he shall bring forth the unsealed portion of this record, and establish upon the earth another testimony of the gospel of Jesus Christ. 38. And in the record that he shall be commanded to bring forth shall be the words of Christ, 
which he spoke unto the Nephites when he appeared unto them in the land of Bountiful. 39. And the Lord spoke of the great blessings that shall come forth to the Gentiles in the last days, even the coming forth of this entire record in its fullness, if it so be that they repent and receive these things. And I have already repeated these things once in this portion of the record, that I shall seal up according to the commandment of the Lord. But because of their great importance to those of you of the latter days, I give these words unto you again, that I might expound further upon them. 40. And the Lord spoke, saying, And verily I say unto you, I give unto you a sign, that ye may know the time when these things shall be about to take place even that I shall gather in, from their long dispersion, my people, O house of Israel, and shall establish again among them my Zion. 41. And behold, this is the thing which I will give unto you for a sign. For verily I say unto you that when these things which I declare unto you, and which I shall declare unto you hereafter of myself, and by the power of the Holy Ghost which shall be given unto you of the Father, shall be made known unto the Gentiles that they may know concerning this people who are a remnant of the house of Jacob, and concerning this my people who shall be scattered by them. 42. Verily, verily, I say unto you, when these things shall be made known unto them of the Father, and shall come forth of the Father, from them unto you, for it is wisdom in the Father that they should be established in this land, and be set up as a free people by the power of the Father, that these things might come forth from them unto a remnant of your seed, that the covenant of the Father may be fulfilled, which he hath covenanted with his people, O house of Israel. 43. Therefore, when these works, and the works which shall be wrought among you hereafter, shall come forth from the Gentiles, unto your seed which shall dwindle in unbelief because of iniquity, for thus it behooveth the Father that it should come forth from the Gentiles, that he may show forth his power unto the Gentiles. For this cause that the Gentiles, if they will not harden their hearts, that they may repent and come unto me and be baptized in my name and know of the true points of my doctrine, that they may be numbered among my people, O house of Israel. 44. And when these things come to pass that thy seed shall begin to know these things, it shall be a sign unto them, that they may know that the work of the Father hath already commenced unto the fulfilling of the covenant which he hath made unto the people who are of the house of Israel. 45. And when that day shall come, it shall come to pass that the kings shall shut their mouths, for that which had not been told them shall they see and that which they had not heard shall they consider. 46. For in that day, for my sake, shall the Father work a work, which shall be a great and a marvellous work among them, and there shall be among them those who will not believe it, although a man shall declare it unto them. 47. But behold, the life of my servant shall be in my hand, therefore they shall not hurt him, although he shall be marred because of them. Yet I will heal him, for I will show unto them that my wisdom is greater than the cunning of the devil. 48. Therefore it shall come to pass that whosoever will not believe in my words, who am Jesus Christ, which the Father shall cause him to bring forth unto the Gentiles, and shall give unto him power that he shall bring them forth unto the Gentiles, and it shall be done even as Moses said, they shall be cut off from among my people who are of the covenant. 49. And my people who are a remnant of Jacob shall be among the Gentiles, yea, in the midst of them as a lion among the beasts of the forest, as a young lion among the flocks of sheep, who, if he go through, both treadeth down and teareth in pieces, and none can deliver. Their hand shall be lifted up upon their adversaries, and all their enemies shall be cut off. 50. Yea, woe be unto the Gentiles except they repent, 
For it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Father, that I will cut off thy horses out of the midst of thee, and I will destroy thy chariots, and I will cut off the cities of thy land, and throw down all thy strongholds, and I will cut off witchcrafts out of thy land, and thou shalt have no more soothsayers. 51. And thy graven images I will also cut off, and thy standing images out of the midst of thee, and thou shalt no more worship the works of thy hands, and I will pluck up thy groves out of the midst of thee, so will I destroy thy cities. 52. And it shall come to pass that all lyings, and deceivings, and envyings, and strifes, and priestcrafts, and whoredoms shall be done away. 53. For it shall come to pass, saith the Father, that at that day whosoever will not repent, and come unto my beloved Son, them will I cut off from among my people, O house of Israel. 54. And I will execute vengeance, and fury upon them, even as upon the heathen, such as they have not heard. 55. But if they will repent, and hearken unto my words, and harden not their hearts, I will establish my church among them, and they shall come in unto the covenant, and be numbered among this the remnant of Jacob, unto whom I have given this land for their inheritance. 56. And they shall assist my people, the remnant of Jacob, and also as many of the house of Israel as shall come, that they may build a city, which shall be called the New Jerusalem. 57. And then shall they assist my people that they may be gathered in, who are scattered upon all the face of the land, in unto the new Jerusalem. And then shall the power of heaven come down among them, and I also will be in the midst. 58. And then shall the work of the Father commence at that day, even when this gospel shall be preached among the remnant of this people. Verily I say unto you, at that day shall the work of the Father commence among all the dispersed of my people, yea, even the tribes which have been lost, which the Father hath led away out of Jerusalem. 59. Yea, the work shall commence among all the dispersed of my people, and the Father shall prepare the way whereby they may come unto me, that they may call on the Father in my name. 60. Yea, and then shall the work commence with the Father among all nations in preparing the way, whereby his people may be gathered home to the land of their inheritance. And they shall go out from all nations, and they shall not go out in haste, nor go by flight. For I will go before them, saith the Father, and I will be their rearward. 61. And now I know that there are those among you of the latter days, that shall believe that the work of the Father shall commence when the first of these latter-day prophets shall come forth among you. 62. And it shall be a beginning in that he shall prepare the world for the coming forth of the sealed portion of this record, that shall be that which is the most instrumental in fulfilling the words of the Lord which he hath spoken. 63. For behold, ye who receive these things knoweth that this first prophet shall come forth in the latter days shall be killed by the Gentiles, and that the church that he shall make an attempt to establish shall be destroyed from off the face of the earth. 64. And the Lord hath said that the life of his servant shall be in his hand, therefore they shall not hurt him, although he shall be marred because of them, yet I will heal him, for I will show unto them that my wisdom is greater than the cunning of the devil. 65. Now, this the Lord hath said concerning the second of these latter-day prophets who shall come forth among you. For the first of these shall be murdered by you, after he hath accomplished that which he came upon the earth to do. 66. Yea, he was called in the spirit of Elias, if ye can receive this, to prepare the way for the second prophet who shall be among you. 67. And this second latter-day prophet shall be called in the spirit of Elias to prepare the people for the coming of the Lord in his glory. 68. And at the great day of the Lord shall he establish his church among the people and gather the elect from the four corners of the earth. 69. 
and the life of this second latter-day prophet shall be in the hands of the Lord, and he shall be marred by the world, but not killed like unto the first, but shall be the means of bringing many people to the true Christ. 70. And he shall bring forth this sealed portion of this record, which shall teach unto the whole earth the truth in all things pertaining to the gospel of Jesus Christ. 71. Therefore, those of you who belongeth to this great church that is called after the name of Jesus Christ of the latter days, do not be deceived into believing that your church is the true church of God, as was attempted to be established by this first prophet among you. 72. For your church is nothing like unto the church that Joseph attempted to establish among you, and there shall be no true church of Christ in the latter days until he cometh in his glory to set it up for himself. 73. Nevertheless, this first prophet shall make an attempt to establish a church of God among you, but it shall fail because of the wickedness of the Gentiles. 74. And because of the wickedness of the Gentiles of the latter days, all of the words of the Lord shall be fulfilled concerning them. 75. And the blood of the righteous Lamanites shall be avenged upon their heads by a remnant of the house of Jacob that shall be among the Gentiles, yea, in the midst of them as a lion among the beasts of the forest, as a young lion among the flocks of sheep who, if he go through, both treadeth down and teareth in pieces, and none can deliver. Their hand shall be lifted up upon their adversaries, and all their enemies shall be cut off. 76. And now, ye of the latter days know that these things did not come to pass in the days of this first latter day prophet. But these things shall come to pass during the days of this second prophet of God, even the bearer of Christ who shall be known among you as Christopher. End of chapter 79.